you know, our team showed a ton of character and, you know, just mental toughness and fortitude and fight and, you know, ask them at halftime just to play as hard as they could play in the second half and, and you know, not worry about the score. Uh, just come out and play with incredible effort, and they did that and got themselves back in the game. And, you know, um, we were right there, had a chance. That drive on the third, <clears throat> third quarter when you got to the two-yard line to get points, was that, you feel like that was a difference in the game almost? I mean, you could point to a lot of stuff. I mean, but, yeah, certainly getting to the two-yard line and not scoring obviously ended up being a big, a big deal in the game. Um, you know. Yeah, that was obviously important. I mean, I thought that the two-point play was a big deal. Sabrina had 11 catches, I believe, for 164 yards. Yeah. Both single and career highs for him. Can you talk a little bit about how he's grown? Yeah, he just played with it. I mean, he played number one, he played incredibly hard. I um, got banged up a couple of times and kept coming back in. And, um, I mean, just played with really uh, a ton of toughness. Um you know, just played like he's capable of playing. I mean, it was really, really good to see him play with confidence. And, you know, Josh kind of got on the same page, page with him and started to trust him. And, and um, you know, the big difference, I think, was we were able to run the ball in the second half. You know, we just stuck with it and, and were able to run it enough to, to where, um, you know, we weren't in a bunch of second and third and long situations like we were in the first half. You know, we just wasted some drives early in the game. We kind of blew it. We've done it times this year where we had a penalty or gave up a sack or did something and couldn't get out of our own way. Then the second half, guys just started making plays and, and settled in. And like I said, we were able to run the ball. I thought our offensive line really, really played well in the second half. You know, um, not only in the run game, it gave our quarterback time to throw the football and gave us an opportunity to get back in the game. And then overall, defensively, you know, I thought, I thought we played well enough to win. You know, and, you know, it's the fourth game this year that we've had an opportunity to win down the stretch and couldn't do it. And so it's just, you know, it's a good football team that we played against. You've got to give Texas credit. They um, you know, did what they had to do to win the game, and I think it shows a lot of, um, um, you know, a lot about who they are. A uh, very talented team, and, you know, they're, they're playing smart football, not turning the ball over and, and making people beat them. Telling the guys to play hard in the second half. Is there anything that y'all did differently? Just telling them on defense that. To... Not really. I mean, obviously, we changed some calls, made some adjustments, did some things a little bit different. You know, changed some of the things we were doing from a blocking standpoint offensively. And, um, you know, if you ask about the turning point earlier, I mean, look, we're, we're going to go in at halftime down two scores if we don't throw that late interception. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that was a big, to me, it was a big play. Uh, I gave him. A quick touchdown, and all of a sudden, you know, it's a three point, it's, it's a three score game, and against a good football team, you can't make those kind of mistakes, and those have been mistakes that we've made this year. Um, I, mean, I thought the officiating was terrible, embarrassingly bad, um, but you know, we have to be able to overcome it. I mean, I think everybody in the country saw saw that display tonight, and probably wasn't real proud of the effort those officials had tonight. Savion's third quarter catch kind of sparked the offense, the one he had late, uh, late at the end of the third. Um, yeah, I mean, I think, I think, I think so, yeah. We, I mean, we, we made some plays. I mean, we had to, you know. Um, we had to make some competitive plays on the ball, and John Paul obviously made a heck of a catch on that third down, um, you know, right there at the end zone, and Savion made a great play as well. And, yeah, there was some there was some stuff that that sparked us, and it was just individual plays. And you know, unfortunately, a lot of times this this thing comes down to what what happened when they converted that third down. I mean, a ball was up in the air, and somebody's make, somebody makes a play on it, and it's either you or them. And and uh, you got to give Texas credit; they made a play on that ball, and and we didn't. And unfortunately, you know, those things add up, and that's that gets magnified in that situation there. But um, you know, if we want to break through and and be as good as we're capable of being, you know, we have to make those kind of plays. But, yeah, I mean, I think, guys, I was really proud of, of some of the individual stuff that we did tonight, uh, just in terms of guys fighting and, 
thought Josh Hoover really played well in the second half. Said, like you said, the offensive line played well. We were able to run the ball against a team that's very difficult to run it against in the second half. And, uh, you know, we played like a good football team plays. Um, you know, we just, like you said, just didn't make enough plays on the stretch. Coach, how much do you think it helps grow, Josh, showing that you guys remain to have trust in him? Yeah, I mean, I think that's, I think we believe in him. And, you know, I think, you know, we're fortunate. We've got a couple of good quarterbacks and guys that we both believe in. And um, I just feel like, you know, Josh did a hell of a job, like I said, in the second half. Made the one really bad decision at the end of the first half. And besides that, I thought he, he for a young guy against a good opponent, a lot of really talented players, I thought he performed pretty well. No, I mean, I mean, just always say the same thing. I didn't see it. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. I mean, it's you know when you have those games. I mean, you always as a coach, it always, you know, here's the thing about winning and losing, is you know when you win, it's because of the players, and when you lose, it's because of the coaches. And I've always believed that. I always will believe that. Um, and so, you know, we've got to do a better job of coaching. We, we shouldn't have uh, put some guys in situations maybe in the first half to dig as, as big a hole as we dug ourselves. But, again, our guys fought their ass off in the second half. You know, we got back in the game and, and had a chance to, you know, to, to win down the stretch. I mean, we're one play away from, from having the ball and, and um, you know, with, a, with just into field goal. Or at that time, I felt like we all we had a ton of confidence that we were going to score a touchdown. You know, we were felt like we'd worn their defensive down, front down a little bit, which allowed us to throw the ball, and guys were making plays, and the quarterback was playing with confidence. And um, you know, I would have loved to have seen what would happen. Coach, there's been a lot of plays where it just didn't seem like it would bounce y'all's way this year. Did you get that feeling when Bradford had that pick? And then... Oh, not really. I mean, it goes back to what we talked about earlier. I mean, it's like anything else. You just, you know. Something that we talk about all the time uh, with our players is when a defensive player intercepts a pass or picks up a fumble, the first thing that's going to happen is the offensive player is going to try to strip them because the defensive player is not accustomed to carrying the football. And so it's a conversation we literally have all the time with guys. And, you know, you got to give Texas credit. They did exactly what they're supposed to do. They tried to strip, strip the ball, and, and uh, you know, unfortunately for us, they got it out. But, yeah, I mean, I, I hate to – think like that, you know, I, I, but it's hard not to at times where you just go, man, it just kind of seems the way things have bounced this year, you know, and I think that play is kind of indicative of that, and I hate to say that, but there's probably something to it. You talked about your halftime message to the team and then the effort they showed in the second half. Is that something that you can take? This yeah, yeah, for sure. So I told them, I just, man, let's just play like that. If we'll, Let's play with that kind of effort and that kind of intensity and that kind of excitement and for four quarters and see what happens. You know, and I know this. I mean, we, we've got a, a game against Baylor in seven days, and I'm so excited. You know what I mean? Because I, I want to see our guys come out and, and play like we're capable of playing. And so, I mean, I'm already fired up about that game and fired up to see our guys play, and I know they're going to work hard and, and have a hell of a week of practice. And, and my hope is we'll play four quarters like we played in the second half today. And if we do, then – you know, we'll, we'll be a good football team. We'll have a chance to win a game. And so I'm, I'm excited to see that because that's there. I know it's there. It's been there at times this year. We've played exceptionally well. We just have, you know, either not made a play or, or made a mistake or something that, that's cost us. And, you know, that's, again, that's, we've got to do a better job coaching. I mean, it comes down to, to that. I mean, we've got to coach better. We've got to coach situations better. You know, we've got to make sure that our guys understand, um, you know, what needs to be done in, in, in critical situations. Talk a little bit about individual as well. Yeah, yeah, that was a big one, man. That was a big, big field goal he hit. And, you know, had a lot, I guess he's got a lot of confidence in him. And he hadn't, you know, he's, we've asked him to do some really difficult things this year. I mean, his average distance of field goal coming into the game was 42 yards. And that's the longest, I think, in college football this year. And so, you know, we've asked him to do hard things. And we put him in some tough situations. And that was a tough one, and he responded. You know, and I got a lot of confidence in him, and I believe in him, and and he nailed it. Okay, thank you guys.